Professor, we got the hard drive. Good girl. Yes, sir. State your name and place of employment for the record. Special Agent Ali Sufan, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Date and place of birth? July 8th, 1971, Sidon, Lebanon. Agent Sufan, you testified in preliminary session that the CIA withheld intelligence from the FBI on multiple occasions. Intelligence that would have prevented the attacks of September 11th. Yes, sir, I did. What you're saying is contrary to CIA testimony. All right. So you're telling us they've lied to this commission? If members of the CIA testified that the agency properly shared information with the Bureau in the manner in which they are, by law, directed to, then you've been lied to. Can you tell us the first time you became aware the agency was withholding information from your FBI unit? In the summer of 1998, Martin Schmidt was the chief of Alex Station, the bin Laden unit of the CIA. Alex Station was Schmidt's creation, his domain. He and his team devoted their lives to the hunt for Al-Qaeda. That hunt was meant to be done hand in hand with the FBI. It wasn't. The Bureau had two agents assigned to Alex Station. They were supposed to be informed of intelligence so they could report it back to my boss at the FBI, John O'Neill. That summer, Alex Station came into possession of a hard drive from an Al-Qaeda cell in Eastern Europe. Martin Schmidt refused to share that intelligence. It's Iran. On that hard drive were lists of Al-Qaeda operatives and more than 50 potential targets. You know, our boys have been keeping an eye on the Albanian cell. Indeed, I do. Professor, the retarded twins. Shut it down. Close up shop. What you going over in there, Martin? Whatever we may or may not be examining is entirely none of your business. Sir, the way this works is you show us what you've got, and then we discuss if it's our business. The ladies and I analyze what we learned in a manner for which we've been, shall we say, educated. <laughs> okay. We're flying back to New York this morning. John O'Neill's gonna want to know what you're looking at. Oh, I see. Fuck John O'Neill.
Could you show me your gun? <laughs> Mr. Bin Laden, John Miller, ABC News. You've been painted as a terrorist by the American people. To your followers, you are a hero. How do you see yourself? لقد وصفتك أمريكا كزعيم إرهابي. أما بالنسبة لأتباعك فهم يعتبرونك بطل. كيف ترى نفسك؟ لا عبد من عباد الله أعبد الله بما أمر ومن ذلك ذروة السلام الجهاد في سبيل الله حتى تكون كلمة الله هي العليا وحتى يخرج الأمريكان من بلاد الإسلام جميعا. Mr. Bin Laden, you issued a fatwa calling on Muslims to kill Americans where they can. When they can, is that directed at all Americans? Sheikh Osama, لقد صدرت منك فتوى تدعو جميع المسلمين لقتل الأمريكيين في أي مكان وقت ما كانوا أينما استطاعوا. هل هذا موجه إلى جميع الأمريكيين؟ إن كان هناك بقية حياة تحافظ عليه أمريكا. فنحن نعتقد أن أكبر نصوص العالم اليوم هم أمريكا وأكبر إرهاب اليوم في الأرض هم أمريكا وتعذر دفعكم. إلا بالمعاملة بالمثل فلا تميز بيننا بين الرجل لابس عسكري أو مدني بل هم جميعا نعتبرهم أهداف في هذه الفتوى بن لادن left his home in Saudi Arabia at the age of 19 to join the Muslims fighting the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan like many of the young fighters he was religious and committed unlike any other he came from a Saudi family that ran a construction empire worth 5 billion dollars Bin Laden's personal worth is estimated at 200 million. Bin Laden has made these threats before, but this time there's something different. He put a time cap on it, saying that whatever action will be taken against Americans in the Gulf, whatever violence awaits, will occur within the next few weeks. Ted? Stefan, get your coat. We're going to dinner. You practice? Islam? Mm. Not in a long time. You? Yeah, church and me broke up a lifetime ago. Talk to me about the interview. I think it's the third warning. First was the 96th Declaration of Jihad. Then the February fatwa. And now Bin Laden is going straight to the American people. Why three times? There's this unauthenticated hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. Some think he said it, some don't. When you see a snake in your house, you should warn it three times. If it returns, you must kill it. It is a devil. UBL's warning the snake to get out of his house. Telling America to get out of the Middle East, out of Saudi Arabia in particular. That's why he wanted to get on TV. He used Miller's interview to, to appear strong by threatening the United States as he looked an American directly. Hey, glad you can make it. John Miller, meet Agent Ali Safan. He was just talking about you. You think I got used? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Miller, I, I assure you, I... Uh, I <laughs> sit down, sit down, both of you. Come on, can't we all just get along? <laughs> Did he just quote Rodney King? Audrey, Glenn Levin rocks for Miller. So, world traveler. How was it? Total luxury. Taliban Mountain Resort. Those guys know how to throw a party. Val, you deserve the best. Hey, that was a good piece you put together. The network kept making me cut it down. All anyone wants to hear about is Monica's cum stained dress. See, I don't get that. I've come on a lot of dresses. Nobody ever wants to hear about those. Show me the dress, I'll do the reporting. Salute. Salute. Let me ask you something. The background footage for your interview had two guys scrubbed out. Why is that? I'm an al-Zawahiri. You know who he is. He insisted we erase a couple of guys from the shots before he'd hand over the tapes. Why those guys? No idea. Maybe you did get used. White here. Mary Jo, you're the only other person in the Justice Department who actually works for a living. Do you call what you do working? I'm sitting at my desk. How about you? It's all work. Whether you're getting drunk doing it or not. Well, I went into the wrong end of the business. 
What's up, John? You see the interview tonight? I called Louis Free afterwards. He's tucked in bed with his cell phone off. What the fuck is that? I suppose he's trying to sleep. Tell me what I can do for you. We just got warned by Al-Qaeda on national TV, and our director slept through it. We're running out of time. We tried to get Alex Station to hand over intel. We ask, we ask, they don't give a shit. I-49 needs an indictment so we can start acting on our own. Tie UBL to something concrete. Karachi Consulate van attack, Kobar Towers. You get me anything decent, even if it's old. I'll get you an indictment. You're a good woman, Mary Jo. Go home and get some sleep. You too. I'm working on it. في ظل ما يشاع الآن عن أن عدن قد تحولت إلى قاعدة أمريكية وأن الأمريكان يحتلونها تقريبا وينتشرون فيها بشكل كبير هذه دعايات هذه دعايات ترهات هذه دعايات من قوة مضادة وقوة غير قادرة أن تحل مشاكل شعوبها أو يحلوا مشاكل أنفسهم هذه من الترهات لا يجوز أن أرد عليها قد بدأ الاحتلال للعدن سيد الرئيس أنا أولا هذه عدن أراضي محرم عليها أن تضع فيها وضع قدم لأجنبي ولكن عندنا امريكان اجوا لانقاذ حقهم السفينه انا مش استعمار مش استعمار هذا جاء لانقاذ السفينه عندي 220 امريكي فقط فنيين فقط وسبع سفن آه سبع سفن في البحر منهم واحده غواصه سبع سفن في البحر واحده حامل الطائرات العموديه هليكوبترات تقوم بتزويد ونقل الجرحى ونقل المؤن المؤن الغذائيه الى هذه السفينه الموجوده في الشاطئ لكن هم بدأوا باحتلال فندق عدن لأن يحتلون ثلاث طوابق فيه وأنا أقيم في الفندق مستضيفين لهم 220 ما عندنا أولا صعب حد يحتل هم مش 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 راضين يجوا عندنا احنا نرحب بهم يعني م يعني ترحبوا بهم يعني تمام يرحب بهم ضيوف يجوا يصلحوا سفينتهم عندهم 220 يمكن خلال يومين ثلاث أسبوع بالكثير كما هو أفهم على مهل ما يصلحوا سفينتهم ويغادروا هناك تقارير تتحدث عن أن الأمريكان حينما وقع حادث السفينة كول أحبوا أن يفعلوا في اليمن ما فعلوا في نيروبي ودار السلام لا هذا وضع في أنهم جاءوا لا بقوات لا إلى اليمن بشكل مكثف وجاءوا يدخلوا يعني وصلوا إلى مرحلة الدخول في مواجهات معكم هذا اليمن مش نيروبي هذا اسمه اليمن هذا اليمن مقبرة للغزاة حتى للأمريكان لمن يغزيها مقبرة وما يعرفوها تاريخيا المج... اليمن مش 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 نيروبي لكن مش واضح مش بنما سياده الرئيس من خلال نحن نرحب بهم بقرار مننا قرار سياسي نرحب بكم تعالوا انقذوا سفينتكم على بركه الله صلحوها وتع... ونتعاون معهم وخ... وعندهم مخابرات يجوا ياخذوا العينات لل... لكشف الجريمه احنا اكتشفنا الجريمه واكتشفنا الجنان مش هم اكتشفوها وتعالوا خذوا هذه العينات نتعاون في المعامل مع بعض لكن الناس الذي احنا دبروا الجريمه وفجروا السفينه وعثرنا على 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 اماكن ان كانوا يسكنوا وما ساتي الى هذا بالتفصيل سياده الرئيس ولكن الان الامريكان جاءوا بمعدات ثقيله هنا ادخلوها الى اليمن دبابات لا لا ومدرعات لا مش صحيح حاولوا ان يدخلوها من المطار وانتم رفضتم لا مش صحيح جاءت عندهم سيارتين او ثلاث سيارات ورش ورش عمل لاصلاح السفينه لكن صحيح انه كان هناك خطه معده مسبقا من الامريكان لتوقع حدوث اي شيء في اليمن ومن ثم ينزلوا الى عدن ويحتلوها لا ما عنديش، أولا عدن مفتوحة، والذي يشتي يحتل لا يتفضل. عدن ما هيش ما هيش بنما، هذا اسمها اليمن. من أين عنده زجاجة يتفضل. من أين جاءت القوات الأمريكية؟ والله ما أعرف، جيت من ظاهر البحر. أنا لو سمعت إلا وهي عندي بيطلبوا الإذن، إذن لهم السفن الموجودة الآن في البحر تحت إمرة البحرية اليمنية حددت أماكن تواجدها والنقاط التي تتواجد. يعني أنتم الذي تحددوا للأمريكان؟ نعم نعم نعم. لكن كيف وهم يتحركون يقال انهم يتحركون رغما عن اليمنيين لا 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 ويرفضون دخول اليمنيين الى المناطق التي يتواجدون لا فيه. هذا مش صحيح هم موجودين في ارض البحر بناء على قرار من القاعده البحريه اليمنيه اليمنيه اين اماكنك وما تتحركش منها العموديه تطير من 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 حمله الطائرات حقهم الى الباخره حقهم في ارتفاع محدد وفي زاويه معينه وفي مسافه معينه بقرار من الدفاع الجوي دوله وانت المسؤول الاساسي عنها أي. 
في ظل ما يقال الآن عن انتهاك سيادة اليمن على أيدي الأمريكان وأن عدن قد تحولت بالفعل إلى مستعمرة أمريكية وأنهم يصلون ويجولون فيها وأنتم ليس لكم أي سيادة ولا تستطيعون أن تمنعوهم من دخول مكان وهم الذين يمارسون التحقيقات حتى مع اليمنيين وليس وجود ليس هناك وجود هذا مثال خطيرة خطيرة أن أن أمريكي حقق مع اليمني هذا مش وارد المجموعة التحقيقات موجودة في فندق عدن وفي فندق الدمور ويحاطوا بسياج امني وعليهم ويتواصلوا مع الجهاز الامني عندنا يجيب لهم نسخ من كل المعلومات الذي تحصل عليها جهاز الامن لا يستطيع حتى لن يجولوا في شوارع عدن لن يجولوا ولن يطلبوا لا طلبوا ولا ولا خوفا ورعبا لان واضح انهم خايفين لا يستطيع يستطيع نسمح لهم تحت حمايه امنيه موجوده لا يتعرض لهم اي لا لا يحصل لهم اي مشكله الم يبلغوكم بمخاوف لديهم من ان يتعرضوا لعمليات انتقاميه طبعًا من اليمنيين طبعا طبعا لديهم مخاوف مخاوف لكن احنا طمناهم من الجانب الامني موجود قرير للخارجيه الامريكيه تصف الامن في اليمن بانه مترهل وان الحكومه اليمنيه ليس لها سيطره على مناطق كثيره وهذا شكل من اشكال اللمز والاتهام للحكومه لانها يمكن ان تتحمل مسؤوليه في حادث تفسير اعلامي تفسير اعلامي اولا الدوله تبسط كامل سيادتها على كل ذره تراب في هذا الوطن وعلى كل مياه الاقليميه ومياه الاقتصاديه هذا مش وارد اليمن لاول مره لاول مره في تاريخها انها تبسط نفوذها على كل شبر في اليمن وكيف تبسطون نفوذكم على القبائل الجبليه البعيده؟ كل قبائلنا جزء من من تكويننا هم القبائل نحن القبائل، من هي القبائل؟ القبائل عندنا نفوذ ودي يقول لك ما عندنا نفوذ كذاب، احنا قبائلنا اطوع على القبائل، وهذا ما نعتز به انهم مسلحين شوف الميزه شوف عندما نتكلم عن غزو الشعوب واحتلال الشعوب، شعبنا شوف عظيم رغم ان احنا نواجه سلبيات كثير في بعض الاوقات لكن شعبنا مسلح. تستطيع انت الان تعمل استنفار اطلع الان مليون مليون ونص مسلح بسياراته وبعثاته وبكل شيء ما يحتاج يعني هذا ميزه رغم اما قصه الجريمه هذه يقولوا عليها ان هذا شعب متخلف وقبلي وشعب متخلف مزود بالسلاح طبعا افضل من ما ان يروح بالبنطلون والسروال حقه يعني يدسعه في الشوارع لا خلي بسلاحه يعني انت لن تنزع سلاح لا ابدا انظم السلاح حتى في متطرفين اسلاميين يخطب لك ويبكي كلام مش مسؤول احنا نقول تنظيم حمل السلاح وليس منع حمل السلاح ولهذا استطيع استنفر مليون ونص الى مليون اكثر من ما استنفر الجيش يعني سياده الرئيس الان في حاله ان الامريكان في لحظه ما فكروا في ان يقوموا بعمل ضد اليمن ماذا سيكون الرد على مشوارد في حالة قيادتهم هذا مش وارد هل عن جهاز الامريكي يمكن ان تصل لا لا هذا مش وارد علاقتنا جيدة وأعمل ان الاعلام لا يعكر صف العلاقة بيننا وبين الامريكان نحن متعاونين معهم في كشف جريمة حصلت في داخل البلد ولا تصبوا زيت على النار احنا نستفسر ونسأل ليس اوكي احنا ردينا شكرا لمجيئك هذا شرف لي شيخ ظواري وصلني خبر ان الامريكان خطفوا اخونا احمد سلامه مبروك انتهينا من التحذيرات كفايه كلام لنبدا مهمتنا نتحرك الان الان O'Neill. John. I've been up all night going through Al Haj's computer, and you know my Arabic is pretty much for shit, but there seems to be some training material that got sent to Somalia in 92, 93 before Black Hawk Down. Maybe some funding, too. That's perfect. That'll get us our endowment. You can get the new guy, Sufan, to go through it all. Mary Jo will make it work. Whatever's there. There's something else. There's a lot of photos on here. Probably for forging passports or whatnot, but one of them, I'll bet my life, is Zawahiri's brother, Muhammad al Zawahiri. Oh, Bobby, I could fuck you right now. You know he runs the Albania cell. <laughs> 
Out of Tirana. You're a beautiful man. Pouch it to me here, share the intel with the sisters, and come on home. You, you've done good, Bobby. Oh, suck me. Whatever you want, I'm here for you. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. John? You gotta level with me. Is the agency making a move in Tirana? I got a computer that belongs to UBL Sedan Secretary that's got passport photos of Muhammad al Zawahiri. If there's something going down in Tirana, I got a right to have an agent there. Thanks for meeting me out so late. Sure. So how are the kids? It's specialized students who teach you. Mm hmm. Wait, how did you know that? FBI. I do a background check on anyone I go on a date with. Ali, you finally visit me hey. again. <laughs> he used to practically live here. Now I cry every day because he don't come here no more. Sorry. Hmm? I've been so busy. No excuses. Welcome to Mustache, young lady. My name is Omar. Hello, Omar. It's nice to meet you. I'm Heather. Anything else you want to know, though, just ask him. He's got the whole dossier. Oh, he turned on the towels already, has he? <laughs> I bring the wine on the house. White? That would be lovely. Thank you. Thanks a lot. He's nice. He's been like a second father to me since I moved to New York. Uh, look, I didn't mean to freak you out. I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> Are you gonna... Go ahead. Sorry. Hi, boss. You're going to Albania. When? Now. The next flight to Frankfurt leaves in 90 minutes. You can transfer from there to Tirana. The sisters are raiding Muhammad al-Zawahiri's cell. They'll give you a weapon when they pick you up. Now listen to me. This is the real deal. Make sure you lay eyes on any evidence they seize. If it's in Arabic, I need you reading it. I want you talking to whoever they pick up, okay? Okay. But most important, be careful. When you land, do not go into the terminal building. Stay on the tarmac as long as it takes. You'll be picked up. You hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Stay on the tarmac. Wait till they come for you. Okay. Good luck. Don't tell me. You have to leave. Uh. Okay, then. I'm sorry. I really have to. I apologize. I have to leave one more. Heather. Please stay, huh? We'll have some wine. I'll get you a taxi. Hmm? Please stay and have a drink with me. Uh, okay. Good. Be safe. Come home soon, inshallah. Inshallah. Ali Sufan is a good man. He come here alone four times each week the first year he lived in New York. I believe he was looking for some place to feel more at home. Please, consider giving him another chance. Be sahetic to your health. Daddy. 
Lui doit être scone, il n'a pas été terminé. Je ne comprends pas. You must go into terminal building. Thank you, but I'll wait here. Now, go into terminal building. I'm being picked up, so I'll wait here. May I do hand before Simona Beast? Professor, the boys in the field are in route. Rendition plan remains the same. They're EIJ. Egypt wants them, Egypt gets them. Yes, sir. So in Cairo in the morning. Get your answers by the afternoon. I like the way you think, Diane. We're of one mind, Professor. You're taking me away. Uh, 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 uh. 
Hey. Where are you taking them? Orders from Langley. O'Neill. Boss, we're right at the house. Arrested four individuals. None of them Zawahiri. Confiscated explosives and batteries and wiring. The sisters took the suspects to Egypt. I looked through the house, and there was no written material, no computers. So I got no information to pass to you. I'm sorry, boss. I let you down. You didn't let me down. This is one of Ayman al-Zawahiri's biggest cells. They were clearly planning to hit something, probably the embassy. Maybe Albania was the most urgent warning the agency found on the Brooks hard drive. Let's hope so. Let's hope they're not planning to hit somewhere else. You did good. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, son. Come on home. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذي اعطاني فرصه الجهاد في سبيل توكلت على الله واطلب منه حسن الختام والدار الاخره والدار الاخره America, I can say that your message has been received and the response with the help of Allah will be written in a language you will understand and will be delivered directly to your home.
Good evening. Just moments ago, I spoke with George W. Bush and congratulated him on becoming the 43rd president of the United States. I, George Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. I, George Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. I count myself uh, extremely fortunate to be back and have the opportunity to serve a new president. I thank you so much for the confidence you've placed in me, for the honor you do me. Honored by your uh, call to service and uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be a, um, a lifetime dream rewarding. Thank you, sir. Chief Captain? No assistant. All his fault. How's next week? How about now? Rest assured she's making time for an interview with Vogue. First African-American woman national security advisor. Yeah, it's a big deal. I get it. Give me Condoleezza Rice on the phone right now, please. Annie Leibovitz will photograph. They called me for a quote. She doesn't get it. None of them do. Every new administration must be brought up to speed on the current national security climate. Eight years ago, with Bush Sr., it was all about the Russians. All right, so now it is again. Anything Clinton cared about must have been bullshit. He went north, we'll go south. Meanwhile, the threat matrix is through the roof. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Try harder. Get their attention. Scare the shit out of them. Yeah. She will call me back. Sure. She's a busy lady. And if you are just joining us, we have breaking news to tell you about a terrorist convicted of 213 counts of murder in the 1998 bombing of the American embassy in Kenya will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Yes! Justice was served. So much time, so much effort. A hero. Yeah. 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 Nice. The American justice system worked. You should all sleep very well tonight. This is all you. You proud? I couldn't have done it without Kathy and Floyd. Oh. Go back to the Now they're gonna want to Listen, I put in a request. You're gonna do a language school intensive. Learn Arabic. I don't want to do that. I didn't learn Romanian, didn't you? It can't be as hard as Romanian. It's too late for me. I'm coming up on retirement, same as you. So what? They're not gonna push you out the door. They need you. When it comes. I'll be ready to go. I know, I know. Don't worry. It's a good idea. Ah. No, of course. He's here right now. I'll ask him. Okay, then. Bye bye. MD Hazel. أفضل إنه يطلع من هسابك الخاص. هذه كانت لورا. هي وجورج بيسألوا إذا بدنا نسافر إلى تكساس الويكند الجاي. التوأم هناك وبحبوا يشوفونا. موافق. هي أرسل طايرة؟ أكيد. Dad, you can't have another one until midday. I know, it hurts. Yes, okay, I promise I'll call the doctor. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. The aircraft is controlled from the cockpit or flight deck. The pilot sits in the left seat and the co-pilot sits to the right with the control column located in the center. In front of them is the instrument panel containing the flight controls, enabling a smooth and safe flight. The pilot and co-pilot examine the aircraft logs and verify that all the controls are in the proper position. I love you. Form an external but at the same time, I appreciate I can be overzealous. I also appreciate that sometimes the right thing to do is to turn the other cheek. You pulled me out of Yemen in the middle of an investigation. I'm not going to ask why or what that's about. I'm just here to tell you that the investigation was going well. I picked the right case agent, too. 
Safan's young, but he's whip smart. Presumably the Yemenis trust him? He's from around there, correct? He was born in Lebanon. They don't trust him anymore than they trust any American. Less, maybe. But in spite of this, he was the, you know, right man for the job. If you say so. I made personal connections with some of the key players, got some leads, but they know more. I'd like to get back over there before they forget how much they like me. So when am I going back? You're not. You've been denied re-entry into Yemen. Who did that? Ambassador Bodin. Apparently, you didn't make personal connections with all the key players. Did she say why? She said a lot of things, but reading between the lines, I'd say she thought you were kind of an asshole. Galad rented the house the bomber stayed in. We have to assume he was running the operation on the ground. We also have to acknowledge that's an assumption. So what do we know for sure? One leg. Fantastically identifiable characteristic. He traveled from Malaysia to Bangkok to meet Kuso. Kuso told you he gave him 36 grand, said it was for a new leg. Which I do not believe. And I'm taking a second run at Kuso later. Good deal. Have you talked to your people at Langley? I told them what we're looking for. Yeah, I also told them what we're looking for, but did you get an answer? Because I didn't. <laughs> he read in his lonely planet, Yemen, that the best food here was the street food. So white. You asked them for any information about Khalad? Or anything on the Malaysia meeting, the take from the head of phone? Yeah. And you told him we can't move forward until they quit stonewalling? I didn't put it like that exactly, but and basically. And? So, yeah, as you predicted, uh, absolutely. There were phone calls made from Kuso's hotel room in Bangkok to the Hada phone in Yemen, and from there to a payphone in Malaysia. Wait, Shahan, you kind of buried the lead. We're you getting those transcripts? No. I mean, they're not passing anything on. They're saying it's not pertinent. Not pertinent? What the fuck does that mean? If they've got something, it's pertinent. I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? Why am I going through you if you can't get any fucking answers? Fucking bureaucrat. Why don't you take it down a notch? A bunch of Americans got blown out of the water and shipped home in pieces, but let's take it down a notch because the agency is the agency. And what are you gonna do? Look, Ali. Ali, just... Ah, come on, let's take it down a notch, Floyd. same time or something? Yes, I saw Agent Sufan's cable. We were wondering if you'd like us to pull the relevant intel, draft a response? If Leonard Bliss wants a response drafted and you're required in that effort, then you will be alerted at that time. In the meantime, should we let Agent Sufan know? In the meantime, you will continue with what you were doing before he interrupted. We get hundreds of cables a day, and we do not dash off responses like flighty co-eds. I should get back to work. I don't want to dash anything off, but obviously his request is time sensitive. The Bureau and the CIA were established as two distinct and separate organizations for security reasons. We don't always have the same goals and sometimes our goals conflict with each other. It is my belief and the belief of my colleagues Schmidt? that- Schmidt? He doesn't work here anymore. That there is no reason on God's green earth to jeopardize our own missions by solving the Bureau's crimes for them.
How about this? Let's find out why I-49 wants this information. Let's find out what they know already and we'll go from there. Sound good? Excuse me. Yeah. Can I have one more hour, please? Uh, sure, it's half until five. Thank you. Hi, Tony Ann. Listen, tomorrow I want you to take these photographs to your G-Men buddies over at I-49 and see if they recognize anyone. Well, I recognize Al Midhar. But will they? It's important that we understand what they know. That way we can assess what information is or isn't pertinent to their inquiries. And if they know nothing? Then come and tell me that. اطلع من تحت ايده تعال هون خلاص فايت فايت اهدى اهدى خلاص اهدى اهدى سلموا على بعض كويس؟ الله محتاجك تبقى قوي. هم؟ أنا يوم زي ما كنت قلقان جدا. كنتش عارف شكلك. بس لما شفت وجهك كنت لازم أشوف كيف أقدر أرد. الله دايما بيسوي الطريق. مع السلامة. اخر مره حكينا سوا قلت لي انه الفلوس كانت لخ الله بيشتري فيها اجر جديده وصلاش اخذها معه على ماليزيا ماليزيا مش مركز تركي باطراف اصطناعيه انا ما بعرف ليش كانت الفلوس اذا ما كانت لرجله خلاص بس الله ده اخذ الفلوس معه على ماليزيا هذا كلامك هذا كلامك انت انت قلت لي شفته ببنكو قبل ما يطير على ماليزيا انا اجتماع مين غيره كان بالاجتماع؟ 
كيف اعرف؟ كيف اعرف وانا لم احضر هذا الاجتماع؟ اكزاكتلي اذا ما بتعرف ما بعرف كلام غريب من انسان مهمت لك ما في احد اهم من الله بعض الرجال مهمين بالفعل اسامه بن لادن مثلا وانت قلت لي انه بيوسافك شخصيان هيك ما صلى رجال لمهم بيروا هالاجتماعات لمهمي صحيح امين اي دونت نو انت صفر عشمال بلا ايمان بلا نفع لنوقف هون الحكي انت ما بتهمني ما بتعرف شيء If Mr. American Ali doesn't want to talk anymore, let us end this conversation. Good. Take him away. He never even met Bin Laden. Is she good? قال تقدر تمشي يا عبد. إيش قال عن بن لادن؟ قال إنك ما قابلته بس مش مهم. لا قابلته. قابلته. أيوة قابلته. قابلته. بلا أكل هوا. إمتى نبلته؟ مين عرفك عليه؟ When you showed me the list of suspects held here in Yemen, how can I remember? I remember. Get him. Now. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. You want me to go to Kabish again? Embarrass you again? They should go. Go to who you like. No one will let you speak to Abu Jandal. Abu Jandal has nothing to do with the coal bombing. Osama bin Laden elu id betefjer al coal. Abu Jandal can harsul khas. Is an akid. Speak in English, please. I like to practice. Fine. Let's speak in English. Your English is excellent, by the way. <laughs> flattery. <clears throat> you think flattery will get you a agenda? It will not. Why can't I speak to him? Because there is no need. You've spent your life among soldiers, protecting them. Risking your life for them. The men on the call were soldiers, young soldiers. Won't you help them? First flattery, now guilt. I'm surprised you didn't bring me more of Brother John's cigars. Brother John says, let Brother Ali talk to Abu Jandal. I'm sad to not do you this favor. You don't seem sad. My guess is you are happy. You are happy because by denying me, you're making the Yemeni government happy. And they'll reward you. What are you gonna get? Another medal? Bigger house? Tell me something. Do you commit to memory all of the prisoners held in Yemeni jails? That name's particularly easy to remember. Means father of death. Inside, we come inside. We think she and I show. I'm fatter than that. Subhanallah. Let's talk about Arabic. Hello. 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 Hello.
هنا فين بتعيش؟ أيوة بتعرف هذا المكان؟ أيوة هذا سنترال بارك السلام عليكم كان فيك تزير غني وما بتلعب بالزباين هات فلوسك ضربني بعد امريكي مجنون لا توقع الامريكي مجنون لازم تضربه قهوة ضربني بعد يلا هات فلوسك يلا هات فلوسك أنا أمريكاني هاني أنا ما بلعب ولاد صغار متلكون بخليهم دايما يربحوا خذوا سامحني يا أخي We're not brothers for some tea. Oh, just a glass of water, please. That is Vital. Current scam, local retailers refill empty bottles with tap water and then super glue the cap so it has that crack. It's not sealed in plastic. Do not trust it. I forgot how quickly you can get dehydrated here. Eventually, you get used to the heat, like anything. It's good to see you, Agent Sufan. Welcome back to Aiden. Cheers. Cheers. Ambassador Bodine, I'd like to ask your advice about something. Shoot. I need to speak to Abu Jandal. He was being held in suspicion a few weeks back. I believe he's still in police custody. Can you help me? I'm afraid you'll have to go through General Kamish for that. Uh, He's a good man. Ali, spend some time with him. Let him get to know you a little. So, did you hear about Ahmad Shah Masoud? Yeah, I heard that he was killed, but I don't have the details. It was a suicide bomber. He got the Great Lion of the Northern Alliance. Meaning Al Qaeda, huh? Yes. It's been a busy time for them. They shoot off their guns in celebration. Such a waste of bullets. You'd prefer fireworks. <laughs> yes, perhaps. You are really quite American, aren't you? The loose gunfire reminds me of my childhood. Bullets at all hours. Never knowing into what direction they're being fired. That's a sound that's never left me. You ever return to Lebanon? Too many bad memories. So tell me, 
You invite me to eat with you here, under the stars. I assume Ambassador Bodin suggested this. Is there something you need from me? I need to speak with Abu now. I'm starting to believe you are more persistent than your boss. I know Jandal knows something about the call attack. We've been keeping Abu Jandal for months. And Chief Amin has come up with nothing. I don't trust Amin. This is too bad. Perhaps you should. Clean the Abu Jandal. Enjoy the meal. I have only a very brief opening statement. I welcome these hearings because of the opportunity that they provide to the American people to better understand why the tragedy of 9-11 happened and what we must do to prevent a reoccurrence. I also welcome the hearings because it is finally a forum where I can apologize to the loved ones of the victims of 9-11, to them who are here in the room, to those who are watching on television. Your government failed you. Those entrusted with protecting you failed you. And I failed you. We tried hard, but that doesn't matter because we failed. And for that failure, I would ask, once all the facts are out, for your understanding, and for your forgiveness. Have a good one. You do the same. No 
anyone's heard from John O'Neill? I'm still trying to reach my mom. New York cell towers are jammed up. It was there, you know. I know. I know. The south tower of the World Trade Center has just been hit. Another plane. Let's go, people. I need everyone on the plane now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn to the embassy. Why? He didn't say. A tremendous amount of smoke pouring out. It's the result of what appears to have been a deliberate terrorist attack. Around 9 o'clock this morning, two large passenger planes flew into each of the towers, the north and south towers of the world. <laughs> What are they saying out there? I don't know. They tend to confirm these uh, reports, which have been growing in intensity, that a section of the World Trade Center uh, has collapsed onto the street below. Do you see any confirmation of that in any direction? Dan, that's what we were all running from. We heard the building coming down, and that's what we were running from. Literally, people ran out of their shoes trying to get out of the way of this thing. Well, one can certainly understand that. So, Harold Dow, our man... T. Uh, on the where city. is he? reports uh, that he can confirm that a section, we do not know how large a section, a section of uh, one of the World what? Trade Center towers has collapsed. Why am I not on that flight? Uh, below. Now, for those who are not confused... I need to show you something. What is this? This is the meeting in Malaysia. On the payphone, the number I've been asking about for months. Langley sent it this morning. And Washington needs to know immediately if this was an Al-Qaeda attack. They need confirmation, and you're the best man to get it. I asked you. You repeatedly about the meeting in Malaysia. Do you company men have any idea what we could have done with this if you'd shared it? John O'Neill was there this morning. chilling moment for me, Chris, as I walked the streets downtown was a, a fighter jet flying uh, over top and literally thousands of people looking up into the sky watching uh, the, the a, Air a fighter jet fly across the over top yeah. water. It's something you don't see. The Air Force obviously has been mobilized and is in the air now looking for any other aircraft. You know, we had reports earlier, both from ABC and... Chris, Wait, hold on one second, one second. Yes, John. The John, other World Trade Center building just collapsed. Oh, my God, it did. That is, a, the, ladies and gentlemen, the World Trade Center in New York is no more. Both of the towers have absolutely collapsed. Let me go back up to New York. I want Abu Jam now. Now. No, no reason for talk. You must leave here. I'm not asking, I'm telling you! A commercial jetliner crashed into the Pentagon earlier this morning. A yeah. approximately 60-foot section of this building which is, of course, the headquarters of all uh, the military for the United States, was on fire as a result of this, uh, this crash and then collapsed. 
All over Washington, federal buildings are being evacuated. The Capitol, Department of Justice, the White House. Mr. Clark, we need to leave right away. Have you reached John O'Neill? I have called repeatedly, sir. I just can't get through. Please, we need to get out. I'm not going anywhere. Please, sir, they're telling us... Arthur, that. go. I'm staying. Sir, if you don't leave, then I don't leave. You have a child at home and a wife. I don't have either. I'm ordering you to walk out of here with the rest of them now. All right, sir. This, this is going to be a very hard day for U.S. Saudi relations. I, uh, do you mind if we turn that down, please? You've given me flight manifests for four domestic flights. Yes. How do these tell me that we have a Saudi problem? I'm looking at names, not nationalities. We cross-referenced all passenger names against an agency database for known al-Qaeda. We came up with two. Both of them are Saudi. Now, there seems to have been a number of other Saudis on the four planes, possibly as many as 15. And do we know that these two or, or these 15 are responsible for what's happening today? That is the leading assumption, yes. But the immediate issue for the administration is going to be getting our Saudi friends out of the country. That includes the royal family, the ambassador, all associates. They're going to be in danger once this leaks out in the press. Dick, we have to preserve our relationship with Saudi Arabia for many reasons. In the short term, to help form a coalition and to host a staging ground for when we do retaliate in the region. We agree on that, George. But if I may, did you know that these two or these 15, but let's just concentrate on the two right now. Did you know they were in the country? Dick, you know as well as I do that my hair has been on fire for the entire year over Al-Qaeda. Going back to when 43 was first in office. Before that, this has consumed me. Four of these flights were domestic, so these men had to enter the country at some point prior to this morning. How long had they been in the country? I don't have the answer. But I'll look into it and I'll get back to you. You do that. You'll look into it and get back to me. I'll go to Condi and discuss getting the Saudis out. But this conversation is not over. Talk to Abu Jandal. I mean, he's our top man. He needs to let me talk to him. I'm sure he would if for a reason. Then you gave me Abu Jandal. I'm tired of asking. This is not the way to ask. I think Brother John is dead. Today? In the attack. Do you know of this news? I don't. But he was there. In the building? I can't reach him. Gary.
it this way, man. In the immediate aftermath of September 11th, 2001, you were placed under cover. Is that correct? That is correct. The reason provided to us is that a decision was made to shift you from intelligence to operations. Is that correct? That is correct. And that's the reason you're now being shielded from public view and the view of this commission. It has nothing to do with protecting you from public questioning. Ma'am? Did you ask me a question? Because I didn't hear one. Well, let's move on. The uh, CIA's intelligence files on Khalid al-Midhar and Nawaf al-Hazmi, two of the hijackers, on September 11th, 2001. It's our understanding that Alex Station knew of the presence of these two Al-Qaeda members in the United States at least as early as March 2000. Yet no one alerted the FBI for 17 months. And when the FBI was finally given the files on the two hijackers, those files were mixed in with a host of other files and never highlighted. Is that your recollection? No. Well, what is your recollection? I walked those two files over to the FBI myself. Yes, this was your response to our investigators in preliminary session. But there are physical sign-in logs at every FBI office in the country, including Washington, D.C. and New York City. Your name does not appear in any of those logs. I walked them over myself. Freedom itself was attacked this morning by a faceless coward. And freedom will be defended. I want to reassure the American people that full, the full resources of the federal government are working to assist local authorities to save lives and to help the victims of these attacks. Make no mistake. The United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. Unforeseeable tragedy. The Pentagon's in unforeseeable. Some of us have been warning about the seriousness of this threat for a long time and begging the military to take action. If you saw these events coming, Martin, you should have spoken up. I didn't hear you say a word about a bunch of goddamn planes slamming into our skyscrapers, plunging into the Pentagon, or perhaps I was just out that day. So why did you summon me, Leonard? Surely not for this. You need to come back. Back where? Alex Station. In what capacity? Four planes were hijacked this morning. Can we not get hung up on titles right now? All right. We'll discuss it later. But I'll need more funding. I understand. And I want to double the station's size. Is that a yes? Yes. And I want recognition within the agency, and I hope this administration, that we're at war. The gloves are off. No more squeamishness about the use of force. I understand. Say it. We're at war. We're at war. I accept your offer.
if we're agreed about the Saudi royal family and the intelligence community clears the names, please ask the president for a limited lifting of the flight ban to allow one or two 747s in the air in the next day or so. And both CIA and FBI have agents on the ground trying to nail down concrete evidence linking these attacks to bin Laden and Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. I've heard from Yemen that we've finally been given access to certain individuals close to UBL. We hope to very soon be able to give the Taliban an ultimatum. Give up bin Laden or face the wrath of the United States military. Rumsfeld wants the attacks linked to Saddam Hussein in Iraq. What did you say? How did this happen, Martin? South of Pittsburgh, this the site of one of the two United Airlines aircraft disabled. How did this happen? Left Newark, New Jersey, this morning on its way to San Francisco. This is the plane that we know crashed. You just, uh, with David Mattingly's report, looking at the site of where this plane came down. We don't know where. We're gonna fix uh, things. Terrorists behind this. What We're gonna make it all right. Was what their target was. السلام عليكم جايين نبشرك ان زوجك خالد المحضر نال الشهاده ولله الحمد او الان في انتظارك انت والاولاد في جنه النعيم ان شاء الله هذا من الشيخ أسامة أنت بخير؟ حس أنك تهربت لله Heather. Hello. Ali, it's Vince. I'm calling out. I haven't been able to get a hold of John. Ali, have you uh, heard from John? No. The station chief handed me surveillance photos from Malaysia. I've been asking Alex Station about Malaysia for a year now, Vince. Did you know about any of this? Oh, God. Oh, man, uh... I didn't know what I knew. I, uh... <clears throat> Look... They were threatening me. They control all the information. They're... 
Ali. Ali. General. I don't trust myself. Liz, it's Bobby. Bob Ches. Thank you. Of course. Are you okay? I've been trying to reach John all day. I never could. 
I mean, I gave up after the second tower. When it... Nobody's seen John. Nobody's seen him. Have you heard from him? Listen, as soon as they fix this thing, you and me are going to go back up there. We're going to get ourselves a table right next to...